Being organized as a student is insanely important. If you're not organized, you're holding yourself back. Managing your workload, your classes, your lectures, your assignments, even your exams, that's key. How do you do that? Well, let's talk about it. Hey everyone, my name is Christian. Today, I'll show you how I stay organized as a university student using Notion. This is how I organize my semesters, my classes, my assignments, even exams. What I'll show you is my school page and how I use it. I'll of course make this into a template so you can actually grab that on my website. Make sure you check out all the other templates on the page because I think you'll like them. Okay, so let's just hop straight into Notion. So the very first thing you, you're seeing right here is the school page. This is the entire page. It's pretty simple, but it actually accommodates every single semester, course, project, even uh, lectures and assignments on a big bit more micro level. And a, a few things may pop out at you. First thing is these things are links, which is my classes or courses, I guess you could say. Then my project, a link, and my current semester is a link. Well, how does that work? Right, so in here you can see that there's the semesters, there's my courses, projects, of course, and then the lectures and assignments. These databases are connected. I'll show you how in a moment. I'll just explain it, uh, give you an overview. So first of all, right here, semesters is connected to the uni, uni courses and projects. In the semesters page, there's going to be a few courses per semester. And for each of these courses, there's going to be some lectures and some assignments. So let's just hop straight into the semester page and take a look. The very first thing you see here is that there are three semesters. I'm a third semester student, so there's only three semesters. There's going to be some courses attached. These are the courses page you will see in a moment. But each semester is simply just an organization of these semesters. But each semester is just a way to organize that these semesters make them all um, kind of neatly structured. So there's nothing actually on these pages, except perhaps this is old, but in my third semester, there's nothing here other than I could put something related to the semester, but I usually don't. I just use this to organize my classes. So having straight into the classes here, my courses and projects, you can see that there's a few more. Here you'll see that for my first semester, I had a few classes. For my second semester, I had a few classes. And for my third semester, I also had a few of them. The, this is a project, which is why there is no assignments. All the previous ones didn't exist because I did not have the system then. I developed the system here in my third semester. This is just a relation to the semester. So that's how that works. It's pretty simple because you just connect this class and um, this course here to the semester. And to these courses, you'll have a lot of, say, classes connected to and also assignments. When you're making a new class, it's actually pretty simple. I have this template right here for a new class. If you click on that, it'll give you this page right here, which is the page that I use for all my classes. I have some course information, I have some exam information, and then I have a class overview. This class overview is really the smart thing here because, I'll, and I'll show you that in a moment in practice, but it works by filtering when the class contains untitled, which is this page right here. So say I uh, enter something, maybe that, and then again, we'll filter, it'll be this page. When you're making new classes, and I'll show you that in a moment too, but have this class entry template. I'll show you that in a moment. So let's just go out of here and I'll just remove this page right here. Let's go back and into the lectures and assignments. This is where I store all the lectures and all my assignments. And I use my study system right here, as you can see, to denote which stage each lecture is at. I have a video on my study system. I highly encourage you to check that out if you're a student because it might actually help you study better and learn more in less time. So there's a few things on this lecture page. First off, there's a rollup to the date. This rollup is simply connected to my tasks right here, which is just connected to my to-dos, as you can see right here. This relation is simply just a relation to all my to-dos. And that's how I organize that. It's, um, I just schedule it for that day. So you can see this lecture was actually today. I have it right here. This is object-oriented prank programming and design patterns. I scheduled that right here, and this due date rolls up into here. So you can see which date is uh, due or 
at. This is a class, so we'd have to type class, and this is an assignment, so we'd have to type assignment. Pretty simple. Of course, I could also add exams, but I keep my track of my exams in another place, so that'll be in a moment. All of these lectures have been related to a class, as you can see right here. Again, this is my class I had today. It is related to the general class, the course, so they are all connected and organized on the pages, and I'll show you that in just a moment. This is lecture number 10. I like to keep track of the lecture numbers. One thing I, is, is I use them for uh, when I'm studying for exams. Another thing is that I actually like to sort by this number, which is um, just pretty simple, right? This done field right here is also a connection to my to-do or my task manager. It's just a roll up that takes, well, if it, is, is it done, is it completed? And if it is, then it'll be checked right here. If it isn't, well, it will be unchecked, of course. So going back onto my school page again, I'll show you one of the, uh, the pages in practice. But before I do that, I just wanna show you down here, this is a linked database to my to-dos, my task management system. It's very simply filtered and just recap this filter right here. If it has the category school, and it is due on or after today, it'll be displayed uh, if it's not already completed. And the study session here is just because I like to have a daily study session, but I don't want them to show up here. I think that will just bloat it a bit, and I don't want that. It is also sorted by the date, of course, because I want to see what's, the, what's coming next. So jumping straight into one of these course pages, let's just take this one. You can see that here's the relation to all of the classes and assignments, if there were any right here, and then the semester right here. Yeah, on this page, you can see that I have the module contents and goals, exam info and master notes, and then some personal notes that I took. And of course, the resources that I use for this class. It's a pretty simple course page. But looking here at the class overview, you can see all of my lectures and of course the one assignments. Uh, that I had for this, this course. If we open one of these pages, you'll see that there's this class entry page. This is where I keep track of all of the homework, as you can see right here. And I keep track of my lecture notes, my homework, and my exercises. The exercises that I did in relation to this class. These are just pages, and my style of taking notes depends on the class. If it's a programming class, I will take notes differently from a more of a uh, reading class, a uh, a conceptual class, I guess you could say. Just jumping in here, you can see that there's just a few things. It's just at me answering some questions, having my notes, all of that. It's, it's pretty simple, but this is not a part of this video. I just wanted to show you uh, real quick. And again here, there's a bit of lecture notes. Pretty simple again, uh, not a scope of this video. This is the page that I use. I think it's a good way to keep track and keep the uh, the actual information separated because the homework notes is typically just um, preparation for the lecture notes, at least at my school. So I keep, I keep them separated because they might say different things and I like to keep track of what the lecturer said and what the homework said. And of course the exercises is really useful. On this page right here, I, I actually began putting them into my homework notes because they were usually in my homework. But on this page they're here, it is pretty simple, it's just a short answers and so on for the questions that are asked. Okay, that is my school page and how I organize it. The template will be in the description below, so you can just check that out there. There, I've set everything up for you, just as you saw in the video. Like I said a bit earlier, I have a study system that I follow. It's made studying so much easier and I re retain so much more of what I learn and I study so much faster. I have a video on that and I highly encourage you to check that out if you're a student and you're looking for a good way to study. I'll link to that in the description below. If you want to see more Notion videos, I have a playlist and a lot of Notion videos already on my channel. I'll link to those below. So check them out if you're interested in more Notion. If you want the exact setup that I'm using, all of the systems already integrated and combined, the exact setup for my dashboard and all of my systems in Notion, I have a template available on my website. You can check that out in the description below. I've used this template to completely organize my life. The systems for everything in there. Everything from task management to project management to cooking even. I'm always adding more systems, which you're getting too. Make sure you check it out in the description below. Everything 
I update on my own dashboard I'll put in there so you're always updated with new systems and new approaches that I found to be very useful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah.